Oh, we were running wild and so reviled, raising cane until we got exiled. But times are changing, now we're on the attack. Yeah, the spell is gonna hit you, cause the witches are back. Oh. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I don't know, but I literally can't stop watching that. Is it? Snap out of Yeah, the witches, the witches, the witches are back. Stone Cold Meanies. How oh, is this happening? Candle, Virgin, Moon. Watch out! Witch, witch, the witches are back. Who are they performing for? You. I finally got to see Hocus Pocus 2. Um, I actually watched it in streaming, and I gotta say, it is. Um, really good. Um, I did watch the original a while back, but it's a cl classic. And the first time I watched it, um, people did not like it as much. If you know what the first Halloween, Halloween, I'm gonna say Hocus Pocus, it did not do well. But over time, Hocus Pocus came into a interesting, um, classic and things like that. But even then it did not do too well it actually became much more interesting and it gave oh sorry about that guys and it gave um much more uh depth to the story and people a lot more liked it more and it became halloween classic for halloween time during halloween time actually but this uh sequel is is a sequel to the original one sort of in what i believe but uh this is way after the original began but it's actually got origin story from the, for the sisters in a way but it's still good the reason why i'm saying it's good is because this movie does give you tear to your eyes it's a, it's a happy ending for for the witches and also billy uh, billy does come in this uh a film but I will tell you the ending for that a little bit in a second, but I want to talk about the story and how I felt about it, and how story goes with the uh, from of the story and continues with the uh, original film. Uh, but before I do, people say this movie was not good, not great, but even the scores are around six point four on IMDb for IMDb, around is sixty three percent, and Gadgets gave it a, a four four point uh, four. I think four or five. Four or five is still a good range for that one, but other places give it a bad rating. I don't know why, but even then, it gives a bad rating for the uh, for this second one itself. One thing I'm letting you know, even though it's a bad rating for this film, in due time, the second one is going to be much more classic as well in due time. In due time, people are going to watch the second one. As a uh, second one is for Halloween, every Halloween, and it's gonna become much more like a cult classic, like the original was. Uh, is the original better than the? Uh, is the predecessor better than the sequel, uh, or they're both good in their any uh, both ways? Uh, mostly um, itself, the original one is far better predecessor, but the sequel is much more interesting. The characters are much more cooler too, and you get to know why in the film continues onward. And the characters are also pretty cool too as well. And uh, let's start with a synopsis here. Uh, three young uh, women accidentally bring back a Santa Sisters modern day uh, Salem. And you must figure out uh, how to stop and child hungry, which is from uh, wrecking half of the world. And I'll tell you uh, a story about the thing as well. Mostly in there, uh, Sanders and Sisters, uh, played by Sarah Sanders and Sisters, played by um, Sarah Jake Parker, and the uh, uh, Beta Milder plays Winifred. Uh, Winnie, I gotta say, she is really, really an awesome character in this film. Uh, and also, Kathy, uh, Kathy Najam plays Mary Sanderson. All three of them were great in this film, but Winifred was really good in this film. I like all three of them who act as Santa Sisters or are fantastic in this movie, really, really well done. And I believe the portrayal of the Santa Sisters are still fantastic. From the original one itself, they're both good, even though they are 
uh, much more older now. I'm gonna say without saying they're, yeah, older now. Their acting is still one of the best ones I've seen with the original one and the new one right now. They're really good, really, really good. There are also new characters from this film as well. Uh, Billy Butcherson is back, played by the original original person, I believe. Uh, Doug Jones, I think. I'm gonna check that for a minute. Let's see. Mm, let me see. Let me see for a second because I don't know. His name. Oh, it's played by a different person, I guess. I think it's played by a different voice. Oh, never mind, never mind. It's the, uh, yeah, it's the same person played by Doug Jones. So, the original cast for the, uh, played as Billy, he does return. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll get to his ending for that in a bit. Uh, but yeah, um, he does come back, like I said. Hannah Wilbring is a mother witch. Mostly, it's like interesting plot for the origin story to begin with three sisters mostly they are younger in this film but they're actually younger in this film and they uh, mostly in this film they're trying to um one of the father members for billy uh, was trying to force them to marry billy butcher for a uh, winnie but we did not want to do the marriage and what happened was i believe when he might have cursed uh willie butcherson sealed them off and put him in one of the graveyards and mostly he was cursed for all eternity i believe so and there's uh, a plot for that i think let me see because i think let me see let me see about that billy's Okay, uh, I think this is a, okay, this is the one that uh, play, uh, gives a synopsis of Billy Butcherson. Uh, he was an obsessed with Winifred Sanderson, whom she poisoned after she caught, uh, caught him and cheating with her, with her younger sister, Sarah. So most of that happened, I believe, that she poisoned him and sewed him up actually and he died and you put him in the grave and he uh mostly he was literally poisoned afterwards uh, i actually poisoned him and then and he died and mostly he his soul was still in the body of billy butcherson and mostly his soul was not set free and it was a literally a curse that one of uh, the sentences uh when he actually put upon billy butcherson and um and that um uh, let's talk about uh, the Hannah Wilburn plays Mother Witch. Mostly she is a not a Philadelphia character in this film alone, but even then she's not a Philadelphia character. I wish she had more time with the part of this film, but even then the movie was still good to point that um, she, uh, with the younger sisters, uh, you, uh, the one of the, um, I forgot his name, Uh, Jeffrey Turkins back in the low a long time ago before the young uh, Sanders sisters were there I did I do know for a fact that they uh, he was a, a descendant he was a descendant mostly and mostly he was trying to get rid of the sisters so forced to get uh, to get married to Billy Butcherson but mostly uh, when he denied the marriage and that's the main reason why uh the uh the three sisters was trying uh, before uh, the descendant of or oh, forget his original name though from the descendant name but um uh he was trying to take the sisters away uh from winnie and mostly uh the sisters escaped to the woods 
and when they go to the woods, they meet a character, like I said before, uh, Mother a Witch. So Mother a Witch actually uh, kind of know, uh, uh, she knows all mostly, and she knows for a fact that they're witches. And they give, they give her, the sisters, a special book. So they give the book as a special book, and, um, and they use, but the witches never use the forbidden spell. It's like one of the bad spells you can use to uh, give up something for a, 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 ultimate power. Must as a uh, ultimatum, whatever the power name is called, but it's ultimatum thing. But mostly, yeah, uh, they are the powerful thing and they can't use that. That's, if you use it, bad things will happen, things like that. But a story goes towards next with Baka Winnie Peak as Becca, she is uh, the first, first protagonist, and you get to see the other protagonist, what's her name? Izzy and Casey uh, Chilkinson. Mostly, you you get to see her a little bit later on in the film, but she is there, uh, but she does something else, good or party, something like that. Uh, she doesn't know what's going on until later on. And one thing cool about this film that I did never knew about is that Whitney uh, Peaks plays as Becca, I just, I mean, she doesn't know, um, in the part of the film, you would know that she has special abilities. Later on in the film, she'll find out she's a witch. No, so if you've not seen the film, I recommend you not to go and watch my review until you guys seen the film. Like I said, the movie is still fantastic. It's really one of the best ones I've seen so far. But, um, but, uh, you, with Becca, she doesn't know she has magical powers. Late, later on in the film, she finds out her abilities do come uh, uh but before that happens all this literally happens uh sam richard has this gilbert right gilbert actually uh kind of tricks the uh the three uh not three but uh we uh back up and easy to get uh not to get but uh, gilbert actually gives him the candlelight the uh, revamp sentences to come back to life so mostly, what happens is that, um, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Gilbert, back in the day, he was actually younger, and we see him in the original, uh, who spoke as one. He was literally there. We didn't even see him because mostly that part might be cut out from the film, but it shows that Gilbert was there behind the scenes looking at the sentence is just disappearing and before he could do anything that disappeared mostly if you glit, uh, uh, lit the uh, lit the candle and black light a virgin has to let, let it up and they come back to life for a full 24 hours for the Halloween before they disappear uh, only way for them to stay intact is to do a certain spell or drink the blood of blood uh drink, um, drink souls they come to life and stay for the uh, after they drink a lot of souls that's how they stay alive forever but mostly instead of doing that they do different things for them to actually survive uh to but as much interesting thing is all of them are still great they're still actors but i believe that the uh, Winnie for Winnie very uh, for, for her to act she's brutal in this one really brutal but she's really really good I liked her I liked her acting a lot all of them are really good no one thing they're really really well done and mostly um yeah they're actually uh, once again he's a descendant uh Tony Hells plays the Jeffrey Trickens that is the father of Casey Trinks mostly as you know uh they also all three of them izzy and casey and becca will come they're like the main characters of the film and also gilbert becomes the main character of this film also all three of them became all main characters even billy he also becomes the main character of this film too and also the Santa sisters i forgot but yes um other than that they are uh Santa sisters sing the music and they're really good <clears throat> all the characters they sing really really well done the music really good and I like the uh when we actually find out that Becca has the ability to, um, they actually kind of trick the Simon's sisters before they trick them, uh, that, uh, the Simon's sisters actually 
and takes the book and and uh, sisters actually thrown in Gilbert's uh, you know where the Santa and sisters house is the magic house but it's turned into a gift shop now so mostly now uh, the so, uh, Winnie actually puts them puts them underneath the uh, basement well, it's not a small basement it's kind of puny but uh, they put them in there and uh, close them up and the scare vanishes they actually uh, Winnie actually cursed the bottom of the area so they can escape so now that's when she does not notice her abilities is there she later learns she has powers later on in the film but they do it they take one of those um chiclet thingies i don't know what the hell they're called like chick thingies it's like a they look like look like duster things i don't know um, something they took that and they spread around the thing they do some weird cantation and they uh, she she does see her hand glow mostly she uses when she does that her hand glows but she doesn't recognize her until later on like i said she does it and the thing disappears and the, the staircase comes back and they both escape um uh, and the rest of the film uh gilbert asks uh, for something all the ingredients to uh help the sentence the sisters but Billy finds out that he was getting used for that, mostly getting all the incantation ingredients and stuff like that. But even getting the incantations, um, the sisters, uh, uh, Winnie does not understand the situation of the forbidden spell until later in the film. I gotta say, the movie itself is really well done. It's, it gives you a tear to your eyes when you see the fact that she used a forbidden spell and that when she she doesn't know until later on you need to uh, sacrifice something that you care about that's how if you sacrifice something that's how you get unlimited powers so mostly uh, if you do that you get unlimited powers so mostly what happens she does the spell when he does the spell then the two sisters still are there, but mostly they they both disappear. Only Winnie is there, and mostly she she is depressed and sad because mostly Winnie cares about her sisters a lot, and Book was literally warning her not to do the spell, taking her to the spell, and she now knows Winnie knows. That the spell is forbidden and she used it anyway and that's how the sisters disappear and the sister is gone now with that sister you know, uh, that's how you know that happens so when she does that mostly the the forbidden spell they're both gone and give she gave up something that she cares about she does not know that until later on that she finds out by the three friends she finds out that doing that spell will get rid of him that she cares about the sisters so they both disappear and like i said she is depressed and she wants to find a way to bring them back and um one of the give me one second uh, becca as uh, becca uses the spell uh, a book actually tells um, Becca to do a certain spell to not bring them back. Uh, she, she does. He does a, the, She does a spell where that it reverses the spell where that she can go back with them, but mostly she disappears too. But now she's with the sisters now instead of like disappearing mostly. Uh, when that happens, she does the spell. Now she thanks uh, the uh, the witches for helping her to be set free mostly, and um, helps the witches to be set free. Uh, the uh, we need to be set free mostly because she knows now doing that is really good and and she talks about like people mostly that didn't uh, they're trying uh, the olden times when they were kids like i said before uh, they were trying to take away the sisters 
from Winnie Mosa, so she didn't like that, so Mosa, she said, for revenge and something like all this happened. And now I think she realizes in the film that doing that causes so much pain for everybody else. And Winnie understands that. So, she does not get, I think she gives her powers, she does, but actually, for that to happen, the witches grants the wish, then Madhava, Uto, Dako, Casey, and Izzy, they both have powers now because they had to share, Becca had to share their powers, so they both share, they do that spell mostly, to protect themselves from the guard. So that was from the other part I was trying to forget to mention. Um, when you see the movie, you'll know. Uh, but that's how she got set free afterwards. So uh, Winnie gets set freed and her soul is set free too as well. And then now Winnie's with with the um, the sisters and she's happy. And also Billy is set free too. Now the curse has been lifted and now he is set free and now he's so it's set free from the grave that he's officially free now before he wasn't now he is fully poison free and in this film you get a lot of tears in your eyes it's a really good film in my opinion even though the first one is one of the cult classics it's one of the best but watching this it is really good for halloween it's awesome like i'll definitely watch it every time for halloween for sure but if you're a true fan of halloween like uh, a true fan of Hocus Pocus like, like I am even though I watched the first one before, at first I didn't like it at the time when I watched it I didn't enjoy it as much but when I fully watched it and started watching it I really enjoyed it but my, I told my friend have you seen this movie yet? no and he watches it and he likes it and he really enjoys it he got it for DVD and Blu-ray and now he's watching it every every time for Halloween and yeah one second guys I gotta move out of the way from it So yeah, what I was talking about is that um, it was gonna be a little bit coffee here for a minute. So when I get back, it's gonna be good. So yeah, I had to move for a bit because I'm doing this. Uh, some person's putting in the room. But yeah, so what I was saying was in the film. I forgot what I was trying to say. Yeah, Billy set free now, and he is should be set free. If you're a fan of the original Hocus Pocus, you'll definitely love this film a lot. Like I did. Like even then, this movie didn't do well, as it's people thought it wouldn't do well. I, like like I said, I would not know it's gonna do well until I saw it. Like I said, I loved it. I enjoyed it. That's other people's opinion, even though it did not do well. People give it a bad grading, and it's not should give a bad rating. But even then, it has got a bad rating. In time, this will definitely be a cult classic. People will love and enjoy it for sure, in my own opinion. Because even though the original got a bad rating and did not do well, in time, it got pretty good scores and good cinematic, good musical, good everything put together and good acting. And it became a cult classic day by day, day by day. It became, people started watching it over and over the whole and People loved it, people enjoyed it. And that's how it became the cult classic we love now. And I believe so, this will definitely be a cult classic too in time. And time will tell if this will become a cult classic in time. Hocus Pocus 2 is going to be a cult classic soon, and I believe it will in time. But in my opinion, what rating should I give this? Mm -hmm. I probably will give this a 5 out of 5 stars. If you're a true fan of Hocus Pocus 2 and the original one, you'll definitely give it a good rating for sure. That's a lot of um, homages to the original. Uh, a lot of things you don't know about if you in this film they have not seen, uh, not, not seen by the original. They do a uh, interesting thing part. Some people actually is watching the original Hocus Pocus. It's um, one of them. Some scene pops up. You'll know when you see it. And it's hard to explain, but I can't start it fully. But in my opinion, it is a good, good watch if you're a true fan of the film itself. And what else I can say? Hold on a second, guys. I'm trying to think of something. Uh, okay. Feels good. So, yeah. 
sorry for the weird interruption that I had earlier. Sorry about that, guys. I had to move for a minute without anyone know she was going to do something. But yeah, I mean, so I'm back. Sorry about that. So yeah, that is about the review for Hocus Pocus 2, actually. But all the characters I did like is Becca. I like Becca and Casey, um, Tex and Easy. They're all three of them really good. I also like Gilbert. They're really good too. They're really good characters. But even Billy Butcherson, Doug Jones plays Billy Butcherson. He's good too. I felt like Hannah winning back or played Mother Witch would have been much more better if she was fully in the film. But I think she was only there for the origin start of the Santa's Sisters one. The kids for Santa's Sisters are good too. I like them. They evolved into the witches we know now. Uh, and like, once again, I said that even though this movie is not doing well at the moment in time, it is going to do well when it gets called classic every time. Like I said, the first one does really, the first one, even though it didn't do well in time, it got better and better. People start watching it the whole time. It got better and better and better. But now, the Halloween 2, oh, Halloween 2, I'm going to say Hocus Pocus 2, sorry about that. Hocus Pocus 2 and Hocus Pocus 1, the first one didn't do well, but in time it's going to do well. It's going to be in people's minds. Even the second one, too. But, like like I said, this is comedy. It's an hour and 43 minutes long. I, believe some, I don't know if there were extended scenes or extended cunts before it uh, got released. It should have. Maybe there are some scenes that were cut out during the production period, probably. But this is a sequel I was waiting to watch and waiting to see. It finally is out. I really enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's mostly, if you're a fan of Focus Pocus, definitely, definitely go see it in streaming. But even though this is not a three attic release of a theater, I think the original was the theater release, or it was, I'm not really sure for sure, I think it was, but I believe I did see it in the theater once. Then I watched it again in Halloween of last year with my friend, because he, has, he didn't see it, so I saw it again of last year, and he enjoyed the heck out of it. He's like, he loved it, it was cheesy, but it was this little interesting story he liked, it was... One thing I should mention is the original one, that's the first time I've seen an actual person literally getting murdered by a uh, 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 Santa's assistant uh, literally sucked the soul of a kid and literally, literally dies. That's the first time I've seen that particular happen in Disney part of this focus in general. It's kind of like, well, it's not a rated R thing, it's not bloody and gory in us, but um, like I said, it's like a PG-13 film. But it's kind of like, not like brutal, but still kind of mm, up there. But like I said, it's still a good film for this a new new sequel. And people who are waiting for it, I believe they're gonna have a good time watching this film if you're a fan. I think it's a worth the wait for sure. Mm -hmm. I hope this this gets a three article release in time. Uh, but I believe for sure is a good time watching it, enjoying all that thing, all the magic, good acting here and there. It's good to I believe put this in your collection if you're a fan. Definitely get a sequel, uh, get, the, get the first film in your collection, and get the sequel when it comes out in DVD or Blu-ray for sure. Get this in your collection ASAP. But it's, like I said, it's a good time to watch with f friends and family. It's a family-friendly film, and also it's magical. And also a good happy ending towards the both characters, all three characters, the Santa Sisters and Billy, uh, 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 Billy Bridgerson. So all four of them will have a good happy ending mm -hmm. in the story of Hocus Pocus 2. I don't know if they're going to make a Hocus Pocus 3. I highly doubt that. I, I don't know the ending between all the Santa's sisters and Billy Bridgerson. That's a bunch of Bridgerson. I believe that's going to be the last part we're going to see him in Hocus Pocus 2. I guess he's always set free on that end. That's the main reason we didn't see Zachary Binks because his soul was set free afterwards. We do see the cat in Hocus Pocus 2, but it's not soul. It's just the same cat from the original one, but it's it's with Gilbert now. But it, it's a different cat. It's the same cat, but it doesn't have a soul that's related to the cat. It's just the normal cat, but it was there before. Uh, 
but yes, and, uh, and with that in general. I mean, there are some other side characters, like someone I don't know about. Yeah, there's some really uh, some other side characters, like the kids who played in Seven Sisters, they did good, and there are like other ones too that I don't know about. Yeah, other than that, it's just uh, the whole story was still, even this is an hour 43 minutes long, I thought it was much more longer than I had to cut some stuff out of there. But yes, other than that, this movie definitely gets a 5 out of 5, even I couldn't, be, I was kind of out over there, I was doing something, so I'm not sure if you guys heard me on that one. So, it's definitely a 5 out of 5. People gave it a bad rating, because I'm not sure if they're true fans of Hocus Pocus, or if they are like, disappointed in the sequel. Like I said once more, even though you're disappointed in a sequel, I believe that in time it's going to do better. Like, like the original one did. Yeah, okay, let me see the original one, and I'll tell you what I'm trying to tell in a second. Uh, for a minute. Okay. Uh, I don't know why I said that. Uh, about this one. Oh, good. There we go. The original one got 6.9 out of 10, and Rotten Tomatoes 38%, and Common Sense gave it a 3.4 out of 10. And let's go back to the Hocus Pocus 2 thing. Hocus Pocus 2 got a 6.1 out of 10 and Rotten Tomatoes got 63% and uh, Gadgets 36 gave it 4.9 out of 10. The difference between the original is the, uh, the higher rating for the MDB score is much more higher. Uh, and I did great. One second. Oh, I did that. Yeah, like I said, uh, the Andy score is much more higher than the original one. Uh, the original one got a 6.9 out of 10, like I said. And the Rotten Tomatoes got 63.2 for that one, and the original one got a 38. But like I said, one is perspective. You should know. I don't read the reviews for that, of the ratings of that. I watch from myself and read them on the, how the story is. And, how it feels and how the magic and how the story is protected. And the original one did the same thing, but it was a good story. And there's some cheesy parts in there, like I said. The original one, I made the old, old original video. There's cheesy parts in it, but it is still a good film. It was a cult classic, and amazing movie. But man, I'm actually talking a lot about this because I like it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, like once before, like I said, I. Uh, congratulations to the three casts, uh, all the cast members did a good job playing their characters and roles, uh, and um, they're really good actors, in my even the kids were really good, they did a really good job of acting in Hocus Pocus too. Uh, as that age mostly, it is kind of difficult to act, I mean, mostly for the most people who are not trained as actors, uh, at that age, for acting that really good, it's really phenomenal. Um, and a side note, uh, all of them are really good. Even the sisters, I think they're happy to come back in a role they loved so much in the original and came back and did it for the fans. That's fantastic. I also did hear that Kathy Nemi plays as uh, Mary or something like that. They had this thought a while back after the first, the first movie was done. So they already know they're going to make a sequel out of this. Which is a good thing. I mean... I did not know they were going to make a sequel until the trailer came out. I was kind of surprised. But I, but I, I mean, I knew they might make a sequel because there's still a story that was not fully really told about Billy Patterson because his soul is still not set free. But now it is in this final film and it's finally set free. And yeah, I doubt they're going to make a third film. But who knows? It's Disney. They can make so many sequels and it, you know, it doesn't matter. It just really depends how this movie does. Sequel, three, who knows, it just depends on the, how that does, and depends on the sequel will do. Mm -hmm. Until then, guys, Hocus Pocus 2 definitely gets a 5 out of 5, within me, definitely good. And I'll try to make sure to, uh, I need to re-upload this, I need to edit some stuff and add some good things before I re-upload that into 
my channel. So, hope you guys enjoyed Hocus Pocus to review. Mm -hmm. And thanks for watching this one. And thanks for liking and subscribing to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed Hocus Pocus to review. I mean, I was trying to do this review for a while, but it, for some reason, it did not shut up. Uh, I was usually watching the streaming thing. This is three, it's not a three hour already, so I had to watch the streaming. So, it took some time for it. It came out. I finally had some this out. Enjoyed it. So, five out of five. And I'll try to do more reviews, but I'll try to do Black Adam. I think Black Adam comes up tomorrow. So, I don't know when it's going to be posted on the streaming sites. So, when it does, I'll do Black Adam when it comes out as well. So, uh, I heard Black Adam, Black Adam is good. So, I might see the theaters or I might see the streaming. But, it's a, I heard Dwayne Johnson does a good job as the DC Oh, Black Adam, I guess. I heard his action. It's interesting. So, let's see the movie when it comes up. Let you guys know how the movie turns out as well. So, thanks for watching. for hope it's to you guys. Stay safe as always. And have a spooky Halloween. Bye. So, you guys, folks. I forgot to mention what I was saying. The Hocus Pocus review that I did not notice in the end of the trailer. That was a post credit scene, actually. So, I'll add that in the footage, too, as well. Um, the post credit scene is interesting, but I'll not explain it. I watched this movie, then stay tuned for the post credit scene. You kind of blink it, but you, I missed it, so I had to re watch the little part of the ending again and watch the post credit scene. It's well, it's a, it's a cat thing, I guess. Uh, it's a black cat, pops up, and you see some reading. So I don't know what that means, but if it, if, they, if, they, if you guys can tell me what that means, it would what definitely would help. So yeah, uh, I'll show the video when uh, I'll put the video. So when I did my review for Hocus Pocus, I did not know there was a post credit scene. So I'll show that to you on that. Uh, on my, I'll edit my full video, and you'll see that video as well later. You'll die, whoa!